said, I've got this ERI five lever padlock. Got no key for this one. And I found a couple of keys. They are ERA keys, but obviously they don't fit. The chance of getting a key what fits is pretty unlikely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these keys to make a tension tool to pick this lock open. So you've seen this done many times before. All we're going to do is file down the key and just leave the upright on the end. But because it's quite a small key, I've got these keys. Now I picked these up from a boot fair ages ago. I only bought them because obviously they're made of brass and I know I can make stuff out of brass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the key off there at the end and then stick this little ERA key into the end of that. The handle's probably going to be a bit big. I may cut the handle down a bit, but we're going to use that as a tension tool anyway to pick open this five lever ERA insurance lock. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm not going to video all the process. What I'll do is I'll cut this down, file this, cut the end of the key off, get this one cut off, and then I'll just show you what stages I'm at next. I've cut the bit off the end of the key, and I've cut this off, but obviously that's going to be too big. You can see when that goes in there, it's just going to be too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off at just these two points here. So it'll be like a little sort of uh, cow horn style tension tool so i'm going to cut that off and then obviously i'm going to drill an hole in here to fit this key into it so that's the stage i'm at now i'll go away and i'll show you again in a minute so we're almost at the final stage i've cut the handle off i've filed a v-shape down here with just a normal file that's for the obviously wire to run down when you're picking i've drilled an hole in the end to put the key in I've took a little bit off the bottom of the key, so that just sits in there nicely like that. Then all I've got to do now is put a bit of solder in there, clean it all up, and we'll have a go at picking open this ERA lock with it. So here's the finished product. I did say it'd look a bit like a cow horn. So all it is is an ERA key stuck in the end of a decorative key, which I bought from the boot fair. And with the other piece of the key, what I cut off, you know me, I don't throw nothing away. I've made a little pick out of that. So yeah, I have uh, cleaned it up with a bit of wire wool. Probably needs a polish, but it ain't come out too bad. So we're going to pick open this ERA with it. So let me just turn the camera around a bit. Stick that in the voice. Let's just come around the camera. Every time I do this, I normally knock it over. So it is all locked up. The bolt is fully thrown. It is fully locked. So we're going to use the tension tool I've just made and the remainder of the key and I've just put a bit of wire in there. So let's get this open. I'm putting quite heavy tension on this. I know these ERA locks have got no force gates in them. You can apply a fair bit of tension on it. Have you seen that? Then I've got quite a bit of movement. We've got the open. So yeah, I've got quite a bit of movement then. And we get the open. So yeah, not too bad to pick. And yeah, pretty pleased with my little uh, cow horn or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.